Hello, this time I'm going to be uh, showing you how to set up Pi-hole, which is uh, pretty easy to do. Uh, this is the website which gives you uh, information. Pi-hole is a uh, network-wide ad blocker, so it'll block ads on your PC or any other device connected to your network, say uh, iPad, iPhone or Android devices. It just shows you uh, information. So the first thing you want to do is go to raspberrypi.org on the top you want to go into downloads and you want Raspbian or Raspbian and on the right you want Raspbian and Jesse Lite so you can uh, download the zip file which only has had a couple of minutes to download so once you've got that downloaded I'll just go into my uh, folders uh, downloads you want to right click and unzip it I use 7zip which is free and just to extract to and it'll give you the uh, image file which you need to write to the SD card. And that's done. And inside is the uh, image file. I'll just shut that down. The bit of software I use uh, to write the image is UBS, uh, USB image tool. But the first thing I always do, if I've used the SD card before, I always format it first and I use SD formatter. So I just want to start that, it's pick the right drive which is G, I'd always check that just in case, but that is the right one, and click format, and OK, and OK again, and that's done. If it's a new card, don't worry about doing that, but I've used this card a few times so I just want to make sure it's clean. So next we want to use the USB image tool, I'll put a link in the description to all these uh, bits of software, they're all free. So just start that up, I'll just drag it over to the, to the uh, center. So the thing you want to do, you want to, on the uh, tabs there you want favorites and then add. And I'll go into my downloads and into that folder you just unzipped and inside you'll find the image file. So that's loaded now. The thing you want to do, you want to click restore, but to get restore button to come up, click on the left on your drive then click on path, click there, and you'll get the restore button come up and just click restore. And then yes. And it will uh, write the image to the SD card, which shouldn't take too long to do. Right, that's all done copying the image to the SD card. But we've got to do uh, one little extra step now because uh, the other week they updated the uh, Raspbian images. So uh, you can't SSH into the Pi. It's, uh, it's due to security. But there is a way around this which is uh, quite easy to do. So I'll close down the USB image tool. And all you want to do now is go into the SD card. So I click File Explorer. And mine is G. So I just go into there, double click on G. And that's all the files copied to the SD card. And all you want to do, right click in an empty space, on new, click text document. And what you want to do, you want to highlight everything, even the dot text part. And type SSH. Otherwise you won't be able to uh, SSH into the Pi. Just left click and this will pop up and just click yes. So that's all done now. I can just close that. You can uh, remove the SD card and plug it into your Raspberry Pi now for the first time and boot. Right, you've given the uh, Raspberry Pi a few seconds to uh, start up. All we need to do now is access the Pi and we do this via a bit of software called Putty. So I'll just start it up. Up the top here where it says host name or IP address, you just type in the IP address of the Pi. And to find this, log into your router and you should see the Raspberry Pi listed. So just dot down the IP address and type it in there. And mine is 192.168.1.238. And down the bottom, just click open. You'll get this window pop up. So all you gotta do is click yes. I'll just move it over to the center. And the default login is Pi and Raspberry. 
that's it we've logged in now right all we need to do now is go back to the pie hole website which is that one and the address is pi-hole.net i'll put a link in the description up the top here you've got a script and all you have to do is copy that just copy that script i'll just minimize it just right click and that'll paste it in and then just click enter on your keyboard and it will start installing that's the first bit done now uh, when this window pops up all you want to do is click enter on your keyboard for OK and enter again and enter again it should automatically uh, pick the right uh, connection so you can just click enter I'm using a uh, IPv4 so I can just click enter again uh, you might need to dot down these addresses one the top one's the IP address you want to be using when you uh, you're going to be using when you log into your router to uh, set up your DNS so you can just click enter again for yes and enter again uh, this is the part where you can choose a DNS provider I normally use open DNS so just use your arrow keys it all depends you can leave it as Google entirely up to you but I normally use open DNS so just use your arrow keys so I'll go down then use the space bar to select it then just click enter again uh, when this pops up just click enter again on your keyboard And uh, that's everything done on the Raspberry Pi. So you can uh, now close that window. And click OK. The thing I'll show you now is how I set it up within my router. It may be a little bit different on yours. I've got a uh, Linsky 1900 ACS and I run LEDE firmware on it. So I'll just uh, go into my router. The settings are similar to other routers, but they might be just in different places. So I'll just log into my router. I have to go into network, interfaces, and I have to go into the WAN, which is the second one down, and click on edit. And then on the advanced settings, just scroll down a bit. Here you will see use DNS servers advertised by peer. So what that means is using the DNS servers from your ISP. But we don't want to be using that. We want to use the uh, DNS servers from the uh, Raspberry Pi. So on LEDE, you have to untick that box. And now you get use custom DNS servers. So I just type in the uh, IP address of my Pi, which is one. 92.168.1.238 you can if you want to if you want to back up if you click on the little uh there's like a little uh, text document you can add another line in it's entirely up to you but i'm just using the the one dns from my raspberry pi it's just if you want to back up and you can enter in say google or open dns entirely up to you but I just use the one, I've not had any problems. And all I've got to do is click save and apply. Now it's just updating. And that's uh, everything set up and you're ready to run. The thing I recommend doing is shutting down everything, your router, the Pi and everything, and restarting everything again to make sure everything's working properly. Right, once that's all done, you can now uh, log into the Raspberry Pi via your browser. And all you need to do is enter in the uh, IP address of the Pi 
followed by admin. So it's the IP address backslash admin and you'll get this page come up and it shows you the ads blocked for the day, DNS queries plus other info. And this part here will show you traffic plus uh, ads blocked over the course of the day and plus you get other information. And on the left here, you've got a white list. So there might be a site which you want to unblock and plus you've got a blacklist. If you uh, want to add other sites, you need to block. So I'll just go back to the main page. So the, that's everything done and set up. Hopefully this uh, video has helped. And uh, as always, goodbye. Yay, no more ads.